dear friends today we are going to discuss about megalithic age upsc mains history there was a question in 2021 mains and that was based on whether it was contraprenous whether it was uniform what sort of civilization it was why because <clears throat> there are many missing links we do not have any structure we do not have any written form we do not have you know so many gaps are there actually what we know around 1100 bc one iron age civilization appears in deccan and south india especially telangana andhra karnataka and tamil nadu <coughs> regime so what sort of civilization it was and nowadays it has become a tradition to ask question based on megalithic age it was the iron age for south india why because <coughs> what we see a lot of iron implements in the burial places dear friends now the question comes in place why megalithic age comes into the spotlight and why it is so important because recently from one of the burial one you know one uh, iron you know hoard is there one you know a uh, dagger is there uh, from which some resembling a script from the harappans have been found so there are many untold stories we do not know who these people were but because this megalithic civilization prevailed in europe prevailed in america prevailed in different parts of the world as well but in india why they should be known for and why megalithic people are so important who these people are around 1100 bc we find near the lakes of southern india and deccan area a kind of settlement the burial settlement we are uh, getting into the place now the point is that what are the different form of burial and why these are the different form of burial say for example there are different different structure known as men hair doll man cap stone right so different different form of a structure we are getting into cairn circle right stone circle actually if you look at the men hair men hair is a tall you know uh, kind of rock placed and underneath you will have a burial and within the burial different sort of things you will find like iron implements there are some common features then you know black and red wear right then from all these megalithic sites you will find iron implements black and red wear and then you know these actually they believed in you know uh, next life the concept of next life that is why perhaps the idea of a stupa comes or derived from these megalithic people uh, only in india now what we find a general trait is iron implement black and red where these are the common features and if you find that there is a huge tall you know uh, rock structure and beneath then under that you find some burial you can name it menhir archaeological <laughs> yeah, anthropological structure and then uh, why these structures are still existing that is a big question perhaps it would have been difficult to remove because huge rock structure i have seen many in telangana and karnataka adi chanalur and golconda actually it's very difficult to remove but yes nowadays it is the age of jcb so many of these sites have lost into the background 
Generally, it is claimed that from South India we have almost 2,200, you know, uh, megalithic sites. And what are the traits of this site? These four, five types of, you know, burial structure. One is Menhir, one is Dolmen. Why megalith? It's big, big lith, big stones, big, uh, big uh, rock side of a st size of a stones are placed. And then what side of what kind of uh, structure is dolmen? If you see the dolmens uh, in South India, they were not placed into any residential area or any agricultural area. They were placed far from them, and that is why. And their structure is kind kind of like table shape structure. Table shape structure, right? So these are the dolmen structure. New PSC prelims and means many a times they have asked this structure. Suppose some uh, stones are placed like this, like this, like this. So it looks like a cap. And here again the burial is there. So that will be called as the cap stone, same way a stone circle. It makes circle of the stones, p put a pit, may, may dig a pit and then put circle, can circle. So in this way different, different exist, uh, structure exists during the megalithic age. But what we derive, we don't have any building, we don't have any structure, we don't have any literature. We don't have any contemporary things. But then, yes, there are some, you know, evidences in, you know, uh, Sangam literature. Especially uh, Mani Mekhlai, the Buddhist scripture, and many of the Sangam, you know, contemporary literature speak about such kind of burial. Definitely, they might be knowing about. Anyway, but now the point comes in place why they should be remembered for. Actually, my dear friend, in South India, they were the first people who started the rainwater harvesting. So they were the earliest to do so in South India. They were the first who brought iron implements in South India. Prior to that, we, didn't, we don't get any iron implements. They were the first who started, you know, organized agriculture, especially cultivation of rice. It started with them. Besides that, there might be many connecting dots we do not know about, especially because as I told you, because of the JCB culture, many of the sites have been pushed to the background or lost into the background. We do not know. But then, these megalithic age, if decoded, could reveal us a lot about what was going through. So, especially they were located near the lakes. Lakes. So, burial places were placed near the lakes. There might be some reason behind being placed nearby the lakes and then the question comes in place why these megalithic people why these megalithic people came to india or they were the indians these are some of the brain you know hair raising question not yet solved it is an enigmatic puzzle whether they were the south indians or the original indians or they came from somewhere else because uh, we do not have much content beside these burial places and these iron implements. These iron implements uh, indicate that it might be uh, used to be a full-fledged grown-up civilization. But then we have, mm, uh, we do not have much to uh, corroborate. But anyway, uh, if the question comes in place, what are the traits of megalithic age? First, I would like to tell you, Around 1100 BC they came and they remained till 600 or somewhere around 200 BC. Uh, so they are not contrapreneurs. Secondly, uh, their features are not same. Like even that, that means some people, you know, uh, uh, used to place their burial in, into the main hill structure and others dolmen and capstone or somewhat like that. That shows that people from different faiths 
you know, people, uh, those who were the contemporary, even they, they were subscribed to the different, different faiths, and accordingly, they used to bury their dead body, dispose their dead body. Thirdly, what we see here, that, uh, say for example, they are not into, you know, agricultural places or whatever, if, if these places are there, that means definitely, uh, say for example, a, a, a dolmen, do, dolmen, many people think that these dolmens were the meditation places of the Munich, because the structure is stable structure. So, and it is far from the, you know, agricultural area, that is why it is still remaining into the existence. So, my dear friends, these are some of the features which show that they were neither contemporaneous nor uniform in their uh, civilizational uh, story of growth. And as well what we see that there is spread comes, nowadays some sites have been recovered from North India, Kashmir as well. So it cannot be called as uh, a limited uh, uh, location of South India only. So there are many riddles yet to be solved. So anyway, this is all about the megalithic age. Thank you very much.